Genesis 1-1 tells us, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And when we think about all of the things that God has created, we know that they are all good. Sometimes we might see the glory of God when we're walking beside the ocean, or we see a beautiful rainbow, or there is a wonderful butterfly that has landed in the garden, or even when we see the intricate details that the spider has created in its web. But all of those things, as marvelous as they are, serve one purpose, and that purpose is to point us to the person who made all of those things, and that is our God. Have you ever thought about the earth as a whole? We are at the exact right distance from our sun for us to have the amount of heat that we need for life to exist on this earth. And not only that, but we are spinning at the exact right amount of speed for us to have the length of days and nights that allow us to have the right temperatures. If we had been facing that sun for much longer, it would have been too hot and our plants would have burned up. Speaking of the plants... If the earth's crust had been only 10 feet thicker, well, the crust would have combined with all the oxygen in the atmosphere, and that would have meant that we couldn't have animals. And if the oceans were a few feet deeper, we would have so much carbon dioxide that they would have absorbed that the plants could not exist. And we know that our plants and animals are connected because of God's design. Not only is the earth itself designed by God, but we were made by God. You know, when we think about the way that our bodies have been created, it's pretty amazing. Every square inch of human skin contains 20 feet of blood vessels. That's amazing. And if we put those blood vessels end to end in a single line, well, it would measure 62,000 miles. And each of those little details were put inside you just so that it would make you who you are. Speaking of details, the average human being loses about 40 to 100 strands of hair each day. But even though that's the case, it says in the Bible that the hairs on our head are numbered. We are known by God to the point where he knows how many hairs are on our head. See, God created us, and he knows us, and he loves us, and he wants a relationship with us. He has sent his son Jesus here to this earth so that he could die for those sins, so that we would have that pathway to him. And he's given us this wonderful world that points the way in each and every detail to him so that we can have that relationship. That is a true picture of grace that is certainly not cheap. What an amazing God we serve.